Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you read by the title of this video, I finally got my hands on the Jack in the Hill palette volume two. I created this little cotton candy vibes moment look with this palette. If you guys want to see how I created this, just go ahead and keep on watching. I spilled all the tea. I let you guys know the good and the bad about this palette. So yeah, if you're interested, just keep on watching. When it comes to doing eyeshadow looks, I always like to make sure that I already start off with my eyebrows. So clearly, I already did them off camera. Just in case you're wondering, I did use the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. First things first, let's prime the eyelid. So you guys already know my usual. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. Now we're just going to go ahead and set with the concealer. This is the powder that I use. We are going to start off with the transition shade. And this is the color that we're going to be applying all over the lid. The tinted lights on the street shine. Next up, we're going to be using the shade. I'm going to be putting the shade on the crease. The sky Next up, I'm going to use this color. And I'm just going to apply that right under the paint. I don't really want to try. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in one more time with the pink. I felt most alive. To be completely honest, I don't really know where this eye look is going, but I'm really feeling the like cotton candy vibes, you know? I think next we're just gonna darken the outer part of the eye. So now I'm gonna use this color, and as I said, I'm just gonna focus that on the outer V of the eye. Don't walk away, don't go to those dark days. Honestly, guys, I'm living. I am living and breathing and dying. You guys get the point. I'm really loving how this is looking. I'm feeling a little cut crease moment. So let's do a cut crease. As you guys know, I always use this concealer for literally everything. So I just did a little half cut crease. And now we're going to go in with this purple one more time. And just really lightly, we're going to blend out the concealer part and that eyeshadow part so it can be a nice little mixture instead of it just being like a harsh line. I'm feeling doing orange. I think we're doing orange. So we're going to use this color right here. And we're just going to put that right on top of where we put the concealer. <laughs> Guys, I literally love how this is coming out. So now what I'm gonna do is a little liner moment. This is my absolute favorite eyeliner ever. I literally loved how this eye look turned out. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my face off camera. You guys know the usual and I will be right back. So as you can see, I just finished my face. Now let's go ahead and do the bottom lash line. We're gonna use this color down here. I felt most alive Now I live for today Just trying to survive Now we're just gonna go in with mascara before the lashes You guys know my usual, this is my absolute favorite mascara These are the lashes that I'm gonna be using today I do have a discount code with them So I'm gonna go ahead and leave my code right here As well as their Instagram handle So you guys can go ahead and check them out Their lashes are definitely really affordable and you can use my code to save some extra the money. Lights on the street shine. The midnight glow. You guys already know the usual. We have to add a pop of highlight in the inner corner. So now I'm going to use this color right the here. Begins to open, but the ground stays I thought the inner really corner highlight thing, I thought it was going to be like white. But it's such a pretty purple color. I don't know why it's coming off like that, but it literally looks so pretty. I just watched it and I mean, it's like holographic kind of. I'm shook. Alright guys, so clearly I just finished. 
my full face. I already have the first Jaclyn Hill palette, and let me tell you, that is one of my absolute favorite palettes ever. So I already kind of had high expectations for this little guy. Let me just say, it worked wonders. The colors blended out so, so, so nice, just like the other one. There was definitely a little bit of fallout, but I know that that's more common also with like brighter colors like this because of the way they're like put together or something. I don't know. I'm no producer. I don't really know how to make palettes, but it was definitely not something that was like out of control or anything like that. It's not patchy. They're so creamy. And guys, when I tell you this inner corner color had me shook, it had me shook. All in all, I 100% would recommend this palette just let you guys know i did purchase this with my own money morphe has no idea i exist so for me to receive pr from them would be like impossible if you guys are looking for a palette with colors that works well that's pretty affordable for all the shades that it does have also for the quality of it for the price guys please 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 get your hands on this so you guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate every single person that supports my channel if you haven't already you should go ahead and subscribe also give it a thumbs up and click the little bell right next to it that way you can notify it every single time that i post a new video and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys